Hi, we're here at Black Label Burger, right here in the heart of Westbury in the Newcastle area. And I'm here with Mario and Fabrizio Zeno. How are you guys doing today? Good. Doing well, thank you. Good. So thank you so much for opening up your Black Label Burger right here in the heart of the town of North Hempstead. And so we want to get to know a little bit more about you and why you opened up this business. What made you want to open up Black Label Burger? Well, we've been in the restaurant business our entire lives. Our, our father has a pizzeria in Post Avenue in Westbury. And uh, we were just passionate since we were kids, just going there after school and working our tails off. And uh, we just decided to branch out and do something on our own. And we figured, why not a few miles down the road, uh, still in Westbury where we grew up, uh, where we were raised. And we thought it'd be great for the community, great for the town, and great for everyone. Good. So growing up, what was like the favorite dish in your home? We grew up Italian, so okay. we were a lot into pastas and bread. and. We ventured out and did uh, more of like uh, the American cuisine. As far as the restaurant, we really stand for quality here. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use top quality across the board. We use only USDA prime beef, which is the highest graded beef on the market. Uh, we also fry in a non-GMO sunflower oil, and we also offer a dry aged upgrade for the meat. So we really stand for quality, um, even down to our ice cream, where we use uh, a premium ice cream to make our delicious shakes. Yeah, it's really good. Um, so that, that's really why we started with Black Label, why we called it Black Label, because we feel like the name kind of stands for a premium product. It is a prime burger restaurant. Yeah, it's you're definitely your average burger. Why Westbury? We grew up here. Mm -hmm. um, so we want to do something for the town, for the community that we lived in that, and, and the people that we grew up with. Um, I mean, we used to come to this spot when we were in middle school, this restaurant that used to be a Friendly's, uh, and we used to come here with our friends at the time and uh, after concerts or after games or whatever and we were hoping to, to build that for the younger generation coming up. So we want them to have a local spot of where they can go. Yeah. That's so good, that's yeah. so good. So you have the black label burger, I see you have the yellow burger, the green burger. Tell me about the different types of burgers that you have. Every color corresponds to the burger. Okay. We try to simplify the process. It's basically the red is the spicy one, the yellow has got the mac and cheese, um, green is veggie, orange is chicken. We just introduced the gray, which is the turkey burger, um, blue, blue cheese. So we try to simplify the process with for the customer. So we're gonna go into the kitchen and see what you guys do and sample some of this awesome. delicious food. That's cool. So let's go. Let's do this. Hey, uh, every Thanksgiving I have sweet potatoes with melted marshmallows on it. Why, why not dip some fries in them? Sounds so good. Do you get your meat locally? The distributor is locally, but we single source our beef. We only source it from one farm. It's out in Washington State. It's called Double R Ranch and Snake River Farms. Good. So Those it's are... consistent. Yeah, being exactly. Consistent. Exactly. Yeah. It's one source. And so, how long does it take for a burger to cook? Eight minutes. Ten minutes. If you want it medium rare? It obviously takes less. Yeah. Well done takes more. So we cook it to our liking. He's putting he's putting kosher salt on it right now. That's the best salt to uh, cook with. We feel like we don't need the seasoning. Right, you're absolutely right. The beef is good, you don't need to season it. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, that's it. We worked really hard on that on that veggie patty because we wanted to make it feel like a burger. What's in your, in your veggie burger? Other than black beans. There's corn, there's a little bit of soy, a couple jalapenos, but it's not that spicy. So other than burgers, what else do you serve here? We have floats, okay. uh, shakes, beers, wine, and obviously soda. Okay, so tell me about your floats. So we try to use everything from New York. We try to locally source everything. Okay. If not, we get it from the United States. We only use New York beers. You know, you used to watch like Happy Days and they have the floats. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of gives a feel like the burger joint, like from around the way. Yeah. Yep. So it yep. kind of brings back that homey feel. Me and my brother both handpicked everything in this place. No designer, nothing. We handpicked them. Wow, you guys have a really good eye because the place is awesome. What kind of fries do you have? Everybody loves fries with their burger. What kind of fries do you have? We use russet Idaho potatoes, which is the best potato to use for French fries. And we leave the skin on. That's, that's just a regular fry, and then we use a sweet potato fry. We try to pair all our uh, fries with sauces. Okay. So the regular fries comes with our signature label sauce, which we made. 
the sweet potato fries comes with the marshmallow sauce and we do truffle fries. Oh my God. So we don't have a sauce for truffle fries because... Yeah, the truffle alone has a flavor. You don't need it. You don't need it. You don't need it. You have such a variety that you don't see other places. You don't see, you see french fries, and typically that's it. Let's get these guys on. Everything is made to order. You can add, you can take away from any of the burgers you want. So we're gonna taste this delicious food that's here, but I need something to wash it down. What can I use to wash it down? Uh, definitely a beer, definitely beer. Okay. Nothing's better than a burger and a brew. Okay, tell me what you got. So we're gonna pour Southampton. Mm. This is one of our local brews. Southampton is paired very well with uh, the Black Label. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good. I could definitely see myself eating this in my car. Yeah, you see how like it didn't break apart? Mm-hmm. I'm not really a beer drinker, but this is good. It's light and a truffle Th This vibe. is it. This, that's where the magic is. The taste of the truffle is not overpowering. Yep, and the fry, you can, you can feel okay. it's very crunchy. Now, so this is your sweet potato. sweet potato fry with a marshmallow sauce and cinnamon. Oh my God, it tastes like Thanksgiving. You also have your black label sauce mm -hmm. and it's good for the fries as well. Yep. Oh my God, this is like heaven. Mm -hmm. If you're watching this right now, you have to come down to Black Label Burger right here in the heart of Westbury. Gotta, you gotta wow. top it off with dessert, no? Yes, oh my God. It tastes like a cream soda. It's much smoother than uh, typical floats because of the cane sugar. There's no high fructose corn syrup in there. Right. And because, because of the premium ice cream. Yeah, and it's not, it's not super sweet. It's just yep. perfect. Right. So you guys have a lot of different things here. What would you do for the person that is trying to watch their carbs and doesn't necessarily want like a bun? Do you have any options for them? Actually, yeah, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, we just introduced the uh, burger bowls. So basically what we do is you would pick any label burger, uh, white, red, black, whatever you choose. Mm -hmm. We'll actually chop everything up and put it over a bed of lettuce. So it's great. It's a great carbless option. It's a great gluten-free option. So I just want to thank both of you so very much. The food has been absolutely delicious, outstanding. If you are in the Westbury area, and even if you're not, come to Westbury, come to Black Label Burger. You will get premium food at a reasonable cost. Cheers. We're here at Cardinale Bakery right here in the hamlet of Carl Place and we have Augie here with us that's going to tell us about Cardinale. How did you get started with Cardinale? Uh, well Cardinale was started originally back in 1975 and uh, being a first generation uh, son of a father who came here over from Italy with my brother as well. Uh, one of their first jobs, my father was to work at this bakery from the original owners and eventually wanted to start his own bakery. So my father and my brother did just that. They started a bakery uh, not too far from here in uh, the heart of Westbury until 1999, year 2000, when this bakery finally went up for sale. And when it did, the uh, first person that was it was offered to was my father and my brother. Well, the rest is history, you know, okay. almost 20 years later. And you're still here. And we're still here. And we, you know, intend to be here for oof, another 150. So you're here in the heart of Carl Place in mm -hmm. the main downtown area here on Westbury Avenue. What does that mean for the neighborhood to have 
someone that has been in the neighborhood for so long, now owning a restaurant and also a bakery, and you also have another um, shop next door as well. What does that mean for the residents of Carl Place? What it means for the residents of Carl Place is, you know, you have town people giving back to the town, because that's essentially really what we do. Uh, we, like I said, have been here since 1999. My brother and myself are both graduates of Car Place High School, so we've been around the town, you know, forever. Uh, we're recognizable faces, and what's even better than that, which is something we really, really like to do, is just be friendly with our, you know, customers and clientele. And we really don't even like to consider them customers, because everybody's just a friend. When kids come in here, though, the most satisfying thing is being able to give them a cookie and, and looking at the, the joy and, 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 and the gratefulness on their face. There's not a loaf of bread bigger, I, big enough here I can give them. You know, we have fundraisers, we have events going on, a Memorial Day, something we really, really love to do, we've been doing for so many years, is we call it Customer Appreciation Day. As the town likes to come down here and you have all the kids with the Little League and all the sports and the car place band, go Frogs. Um, as that all happens, we're in the parking lot. I have a band going, I have a DJ going. We, have, we do barbecues, hamburgers, hot dogs. We have Italian ices I give out. Everybody becomes a family. We have almost a thousand people in the parking lot. And it's just, there it really is nothing better because you really don't get a better feeling of this town when you see everybody together and everybody saying thank you, thank you. People actually stop and don't even continue on with the parade. No, no. Once they get here, it's like a detour. You'll have hundreds of people walking the parade, and then once you pass here, it's like it doing those down because everyone stops. Yes. And so that's how much love that you get in the community. Mm -hmm. We're Italian, so there's nothing more important in an Italian family than family, than family and a family bond. So I was able to learn and get passion for this business as my brother did, as my father has, as everybody who's in this business. And everybody always, you know, smelling the, you know, smell of the bread and the air and everything and just looking at me like, oh, your brother's the best, your brother makes the best this, your brother makes the best that. I want to be as cool as he is. Oh, nice. So, and, and I, I was lucky enough to be able to do that. By the beautiful displays that you have Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So tell us about some of the items that you have here. Well, uh, just a few of the items. Again, bakery sometimes isn't big enough to really put everything that we have, but just a few of the items that we do have. We have our strawberry shortcake, which is a vanilla cake with uh, fresh whipped cream on the inside and out. On the inside is a fresh strawberry and strawberry preserve. Over here, I like to consider our world famous cannoli cream cake, which is three layers of vanilla cake, two layers of our homemade cannoli cream with some whipped cream on the outside and uh, baked almonds. And so you have a, a, a wide variety of cakes and mm -hmm. then I see on the other side we have a wide variety of cookies mm -hmm. and other small pastries. So tell us about some of the different cookies that you have and what is the inspiration for the cookies that you have? Well, a lot of our inspiration to cookies is just the Italian culture itself. I mean, we do you know, keep up with the mono. We have the Italian butter cookies, but what we do put in, in our butter cookies is our own Nutella, our own Nocciola which is a hazelnut chocolate, as opposed to just like a regular chocolate. You buy with your eyes and you come back for seconds with your stomach. And oh, I have yes. to make sure that everybody, every cake, every item, every product, you know, fits that description. Now, everybody here knows that if I'm not gonna pay for it, I don't want my customers paying for it. That's great customer service. Yeah. So let's get back in the kitchen and let's get to baking Absolutely. some good stuff. I'm not shy to the kitchen. So okay, don't let my husband see this. I don't want him to get the wrong idea that yeah. I like doing that. That's why everything is handmade. We give you that nice rustic Italian look, that handmade look, not that commercialized look. So this actually feels really good. We have the It's sesame very seeds. therapeutic. This is very, very relaxing. It, is. it feels really good. You know, you go to therapy and they give you the balls to squeeze. I think this is much better. This is one of our many ovens. This is the oven that we use uh, all the time to bake a lot of the bread for the store. We, we just keep baking bread all day for the store, so no matter what time you come in, it was getting a fresh piece of bread, and that's actually what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna oh. bake a little bit of bread, so uh, this is called a peel. And okay. what we're gonna do is I'm gonna teach you how to score some bread. Oh, that looks so, so good. So right now, these are some round ciabattas. And I love how it just, it separates, yeah. and then one across the middle. Mm -hmm. Awesome. This itself, ciabatta bread, is going to take about 40 minutes to bake. Okay. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to put some steam to it. That's what helps the bread rise. And what you're going to do is you're going to push and pull. That a go. Some ciabatta in the oven. Good job. Some. That'll go. Nice, nice. Look at all the flour. Yeah, you see, right? 
make a dramatic effect. Right. And so what kind of bread is this? This is called French bread. What this is, is this is um, very common, very popular table bread. It's considered a white bread. So there's a somewhat of a crusty uh, outside with a nice, um, very tasteful inside. Nice what do you and eat soft. This with? Anything you want. I mean, all the bread you can eat, anything you want. This generally is very popular for sandwiches, table bread, you know, Dunkin' and sauce. You know, makes the best bologna and cheese sandwiches. I love how the bread just separates. And so you would never think, at least I never thought, with making bread that it, it took so much. You just figure you yeah. make the dough and you just pop it no, into no, the No, 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 no. It's a good mix of all the right ingredients, mm -hmm. you know, for the right mixing time. And all these recipes happened with a lot of trial and error. So someone that wanted to get into baking, what would be your advice for them? If you could be a person who doesn't look at the clock yeah. and, and, and enjoys what you do, then baking is for you. Yes. Love what you do, do what you love. Mm -hmm. We want you to come down, visit Cardinale Bakery, come next door and visit the cake, Don, get your, your specialty cake, and then also go next door to La Bottega. Absolutely, you know, so, we, we, we do it all. Cakes, cookies, pastries, make the best cannolis around. The rainbow cookies will get any man out of the doghouse. <laughs> so trust me, I know that from experience. So please, come on down. I hope to see everybody. And uh, let's have an espresso next door when you do come down. My favorite treat is exactly what's in front of us, it's the rainbow cookies. They just a, a delicious Italian cookie with a great raspberry jam on the inside, the tricolor of the vanilla marzipan uh, almond paste cake with uh, chocolate on the top and the bottom with white chocolate swirled on the inside. Let's taste it. Don't be shy. There you go. Right. It's, it's annoying how good it is, I know. This is great. Come down and have your rainbow cookie right here at Cardinale Bakery. Now we're here at Pollo Romero here in Newcastle on Prospect Avenue and we have the proprietor of this business, Louis Romero, that Thank is you. here. So welcome, how Louis, you, to our Taste of the Town show. So tell us a little about Pollo Romero. How did you get started here? Well, I started in 97, 98, which it was the other restaurant uptown. Mm -hmm. Then I uh, decided I wanted something with seating, something uh, a little bigger. Mm -hmm. Then this came up for sale and uh, we bought it. Okay. And now we're here trying to make it. Pollo Romero, where did you get that name from? Well, Pollo meat chicken. Chicken, yes. We're big on the baked chicken. Okay. And Romero is our last name, my son and I, last name. You know, it's a family seasoning for the baked chicken. We got quite a few dishes, like American dishes, Spanish, and uh, Jamaican. And so you're here in the heart of Newcastle. You know, we've done a lot of revitalization here along yeah, Prospect that Avenue. It's coming out very nice. Thank you. And so we're glad to have you here. What did it mean for you to have your business here in the Newcastle area? Well, I always wanted to stay around here locally. You know, mm -hmm. I started around here, and uh, you know, all my customer, I love my customer, and I guess they love me, so I wanted to keep it local. So what is one of your signature dishes here? Baked chicken, mm -hmm. which is big. We got the jerk chicken mm -hmm. and uh, mac and cheese. Yes. That's one of the biggest seller. I had the mac and cheese mm -hmm. and it is phenomenal. It's a down south traditional uh, recipe. I started in the kitchen when I was like, I would say 17. Okay. And uh, it was an Italian restaurant and I, just, I love what I do and I stuck with it, you know. And I you're good from at Delhi it. to restaurant. So we want to taste some of this delicious food. Let's go back into the kitchen. Let's do it. This is the chicken that we marinate mm -hmm. for 24 hours before we bake it. Okay. You know, it's a house seasoning. We do everything from scratch in the kitchen. Is it a secret? Can you tell me what's in well, it? Well, I can tell you part of it, which is <laughs> very simple. Okay. It's just the way we do it. This one got garlic. Mm -hmm. You know, you first put a little oil, so tenderize the meat a little. Okay. And the season, like if, if it's powder, it will stick to the, to the chicken. Okay. If you don't put a little oil, you throw the powder, and it will go all over. Scatter all over it. So you got uh, oregano, mm -hmm. garlic, little onion powder, okay, and a little lemon, lime juice. Lime right? juice, okay. All right. It smells delicious. Yeah, wait till it's ready. 
And so what do you use this for? Well, then I'm going to make you a little uh, grilled chicken. Okay. Which is also marinated. Okay. 24 hours. Okay. With pepper and onion. We got a, uh, we got the house blend. Okay. We blend uh, garlic, onion powder, oregano. Now first you want to throw the green pepper because green pepper throw take a little longer to cook. Okay, so you kind of saute the So what I do, I'm well. going to saute it on the side because the onion is done right quick. When I throw the green pepper and the onion, I drop a little uh, Italian dressing. Oh, nice. And that gives the onion and the pepper a little... A little different flavor. That's yeah. a good trick for you. Or instead of cooking, I'll just come here to eat. Come no, on. you can come here to cook too. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> Always need the help. How about I just come and eat? I'm sauteing the green peppers. And in a little while, we're going to add the onions on here. It smells delicious. I'm feeling good. I feel like I'm in the kitchen and I'm cooking. And we're going to have a great dinner. This is feeling great. It smells delicious. You can smell the aroma of the green peppers and the. Yes. Oh, this is going to be so good. Also, when you saute in, I like to throw a little dash of salt. Okay. And a little dash of pepper. A little bit of the Italian dressing. Oh, okay. If you go like that, and you see that it don't break off right quick, it's not done. Okay. It's still raw. So, when it's chopping quickly, you know that it's done. So now we have our grilled chicken, our sauteed grilled chicken and our baked chicken, and we're going to plate them and bring them out for you to taste it. Oh, look at that avocado. And look, the chicken is falling right off the bone. I love it. The seasoning is always the same. To the teaspoon, it's perfect. A rice and peas with a grilled chicken, pepper and onion, a little garden salad with a piece of avocado, My and the famous mac and cheese. Yes, I and cannot in, wait to dig into this. And in this. your plate we have a garden salad with our famous baked chicken, mm -hmm. white rice, and a piece of avocado. Yes. Now the avocado gives it like a, a nice flair. Well, the color of food got a lot to do with colors, you know, yes. when you bring the color out in a plate. That's what make the plate. Okay. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and dig into this Let's mac and cheese. Do it. I've heard so much about it, and I know that it is delicious. So I am going to go ahead and take a bite. Mm. Oh, yeah. Heavenly. You also do catering. Now you said a barbecue car? It's a 1976 Fiat. Okay. Four years ago, I transformed it into a smoker and a grill. Wow. And uh, it took off. We do a birthday party. Wedding, homecoming, customer appreciation in a lot of supermarket. Back in the day, you won't have people from out of town coming into Newcastle, and it been a change the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. See people from everywhere. Tell me, why do you love cooking so much? I don't know. I started cooking when I was pretty young, and I fell in love with it. You know, and it's like they say: if you like what you do, you never work a day in your life. I love that. I love that. It's almost like cooking is an art form. That's what it is. Food is an art. Okay. You, know, you look at it, if it look good, eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, this looks good and I'm going to eat it. You do that. <laughs> this is a uh, fried pork. Okay. No bones. Yes, uh, the meat. The what do you chop. call that? It's a Chicharron. Chicharron. Barbecue ribs. My daughter's favorite. Yeah. Then over here, we usually keep tilapia, filet of tilapia, mm -hmm. grill, right. Sometimes and, you have and salmon. salmon. Yes. No, it's salmon right there. And then we got the red velvet cake. cake. No, but you have to have dessert. The 
There's something special about pollo romero. Thank you it's very much. It's not just chicken. Well, over here you can feel at home. We're not the fast food place, mm -hmm. you know? I know most of my customers, they come, we bond, you know, we yes. have that friendship that they come here, you know what they eat. And if you don't see something you like, you can always go, Louis, I want this and this and that. And if it's in my hand, then I can make it, I you will make, make it. it. I love it. The I thing is it. that you leave this place with a smile. A smile and a full stomach. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> make you come back, you know? Yes. So thank you so much, Louis. Anytime, Viviana. Yes, thank it's you. A pleasure. Yes, and pleasure to be here. Mi casa es tu casa. casa. And your casa is too.